Czech, Czech. English is not my first language, but I will do my best. This will be my open letter. It's difficult being young these days, staying positive, staying on course and maintaining a healthy, optimistic mindset, taking in the good and the bad and giving back something great. It's not that easy. What we have are choices and nobody to guide us. Bones must be broken and lessons learned all on our own. What if I told you that I didn't plan on living beyond 25? Couldn't be bothered to figure it out. Didn't take the time. Now, that's not true about me, but I'm sure it is for somebody. This isn't me saying that we've got it worse than generations before us. This is me saying that we've got problems no one has faced before us. I'm sure I don't have to repeat all those headlines and articles. You don't need to have a degree to know that there's something wrong with us. Kindergartens bleed red, spent casings trail the floor. When I was in high school, I worried about the test scores. I spent days thinking about which girls I liked and how to get hammered on a Friday night. Thank God I didn't have to worry about getting shot or stabbed or ending a life that's never been really had. How can I accurately make my choices and pick a path? If, not, if I'm not even sure, I'll make it back from the school, from the cinema, or from the store. Why would you reach for a gun before reaching out? Who's to blame for this? Is this our fault? So the question stands, how can one exist, have hopes, have dreams, have ambitions, and resist? Resist the cold and the bitterness. How can one strive for a better life and a full heart if even the simplest things can bring you down and shackle you to the ground? Find friends and find love. Find friends because standing alone is not worth standing at all. Surround yourself with people you can look up to, learn from and hold dear because there won't be anybody else next to you when the end is near. You're not being weak when admitting defeat and screaming out I need help, I can't do this and everything is fucked, nothing worked out well. Fear not and stand tall. Don't worry about the heights or the depths, trust me we won't let you fall. And when apart, it's not the missed calls or unanswered messages that kill me. It's the distance and the fact that you're not here, you're not with me. This stays true for both significant others and the closest of friends. There's no doubt that I'm always happier in your presence. But it doesn't always work out, and everything has an end. Whether in death or worse, divorce, the sun sets and that's it. The world slowly slides out to focus. These next few hours after zero hour are about us. Imagining a clear future has never been so hard. Chills running through your skin like aftershocks. The light has gone out, you're alone, and your voice is too weak to shout. This feeling is intense. This is one of the greatest human emotions. This could level cities, this could bring gods to their knees. You have never felt so alive and at the same time so close to the grave. This is a fucking disaster because the girl that you run after will never stop, never Never look back and never let you have her. So some songs will be sung forever and some wounds will stay open for years. And when standing this close to the edge, when having nothing to lose, you have nothing to fear. It's dangerous and there is no easy way out of this. And I know what you're thinking. You feel like worlds are colliding and you're caught between. You're sure nobody knows what it is you feel. Nobody cares and nobody understands, but it's all false. We do, I do, and we don't want to see you off in an early hurts. So suffer through and overcome. There are always better days ahead of us. And I know there are nights you'd rather just forget things better left unsaid. We could tell you that let her go, that to you she should be dead. But it's pointless, it won't stop the loop that's playing in your head. The same images, the same songs, playing backwards and forwards, keeping you up at night and during daytime occupied. Sometimes life just sucks and there isn't much I can do about it. I can stand close right by you and say, well, fuck him or fuck her. When playing this game, you always stand in your best friend's corner. And you know what, mate? We were always better without her. But I digress. In this whole goddamn mess, I have no real personal experience. I'm not beautiful, not lovable, but I choose to hope and to better myself each day. I want to become somebody that I want to be. My only wealth right now is my youth, and I'll be damned if I don't put it to good use. This was my open letter, and this is me beginning to fulfill my dream standing up to a mic and telling you what the fuck I think about this life.